All right, back at again, talking more RV sales. Today, we're going to be talking about our body language and tonality because it matters a lot, okay? If we don't have the right body language and tonality, then, you know, we're just not going to get anything done. People are going to be offended by us. They're not going to want to work with us. And that's what happens if we don't understand, you know, how we're presenting ourselves to our customers. You know, how are we speaking with them? Right. And that's that's a big deal. And sometimes salespeople don't understand, you know, how big of a deal their body language and tonality is when they're meeting their customers. So, you know, one of the first things that, you know, I like to start with when we're talking about body language is, you know, we need to look presentable. Right. We need to be smiling. We need to be happy. We need to be excited to be at work. Right. Like nobody wants to deal with with an RV salesperson that's like glum and gloomy and down and just, you know, non-energetic and, you know, kind of off-putting, like that doesn't get your customer excited to buy an RV from you. So, you know, first we got to be excited. We got to be happy to work there. We got to be ready to, you know, add value to our customer's life. We got to be excited to receive that up. We got to be excited to get the phone call, right? I know you've probably heard you know, things like smile through the phone and, you know, all of those different things that you hear. But the truth is, is when you smile through the phone, you have a a better tonality. You have a more uh, presentable voice. You have a, you know, easier to listen to voice, right? And that's, you know, a big thing. You know, if we're always yelling at our customers, if we're always, you know, kind of asking why, 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 and like being very pushy, then, Customers can take that in the wrong way. So, you know, if we're talking to our customers, one of the first things are body language, right? Excited, glad to be there, ready to add value to our customer's life, right? Upbeat, energetic, just like our customer is, right? We want to, you know, kind of match our customer's energy. We want to be a salesperson that our customers want to buy from. Right. And that's a big deal. We have to be a salesperson that our customers want to buy from. Right. Because if they come in and they don't like us, you know, there's a hundred million RV salespeople out there that can get a deal done. And a lot of the floor plans are very similar. So, you know, a lot of the time in the RV industry, a customer is looking for the right salesperson. So we got to have the bright body language, right? We got to look clean. We got to have, you know, a a good appearance. You know, I I would tell you, we're not wearing perfumes. We're not wearing colognes, right? Because if we're in a desk, if we're in an office and our customers don't like loud smells, call it, or, you know, very pungent smells, and we're trapped in an office and we got our cologne and our perfume kind of just, you know, percolating that office and getting that thing real stuffy and smelly, um, you might think it smells good, but your customer might not, right? So I'm not saying to stink, right? We got to have good hygiene. Like our offices shouldn't smell like BO or like body odor or musky by any means. But, you know, if it smells like the dealership, if it's just like a natural, like it's just, you know what I mean? It's just the smell of the air. That's good, right? It's neutral. Like it, it's inviting. It's not pressing people out. It's not forcing them to, to sit in, you know, a big office of cologne, right? It's giving them fresh air. It's easy to breathe. It doesn't feel uncomfortable when they're in there in the office with you. And all of these little things matter, right? You know, if we're we- wearing big chains, right? If we have big earrings, if we have, you know, pinky rings and big diamond rings and things like that on. You know, that's also going to be something else that a customer is going to be, you know, a little off-putted by, right? They don't typically want to see, you know, maybe if you're, you know, an NBA agent or a a hip-hop star's agent or something like that. Yeah, maybe then we do have diamond rings and necklaces because it makes sense for our customer base. But if we're an RV salesperson and our customer base is, you know, hardworking, white collar, blue collar, you know, kind of person, someone that likes to go in the outdoors and just enjoy their time. You know, they're not wearing big gaudy earrings and big necklaces and big rings and things like this. Like they're very, you know, blue jeans, polos, t-shirts, you know, they're, they're very, most of my RV people have been like, I guess like that blue jeans and t-shirts kind of thing. So that's kind of where we want to be as well, right? We don't want to be wearing suits. We don't want to make our customers feel like 
they're dealing with someone that might be slimy, right? Because if you come in with a suit and you're trying to sell an RV to someone that's in khakis and a t-shirt that's muddy or dirty from the farm or something, like it's a, it's a little weird to them, right? It's not what they're used to, right? And, you know, even though you'll see salespeople, hey, you got to be in a suit, got to be in a tie. Like, I don't really believe that. I think that we should be dressed at the same level as our customers or one level above our customers, right? If we're a banker, a suit might make sense. A tie might make sense. But as an RV salesperson, a polo and some khaki shorts, that makes a lot of sense for an RV salesperson, right? So we shouldn't be having big rings, big necklaces, big earrings. We shouldn't be you know, having a lot of cologne, right? We should be presentable. We should be excited. We should be open, right? We shouldn't have our arms crossed. We shouldn't be doing this, trying to talk to our customers, listen to them. We should have our arms open, maybe down, right? We should be sitting at our, our desk, okay? Another thing is, you know, tonality. You know, what kind of tonality are we asking our questions in, right? Are we doing it in like an inquisitor voice? Like, um, for example, you know, hey, what are you going to be doing with the RV? Where are you going to be going? What are you going to be doing with? Or um, kind of like a pressing tonality would be like, hey, what are you going to be doing with the RV? Where are you going to be going? What are you going to be doing with it? Right? Do you see the difference in tonality? Like it's very pressy. It's very pushy. Hey, what are you going to be doing with it? As a matter of fact, hey, what what are you going to be doing with the RV? Where are you going to be going? Who are you going to be going with? Hey, you know, kind of matter of factly, that's how we should be asking our questions. It shouldn't be, you know, like constant pressure in their face. Like, Hey, where are you going to be going? What are you going to be doing? How much budget? What's your budget? Where are you going? When are you guys leaving? How soon do you want to buy? Like, do you like the tonality there is way off, right? So we need to be presentable. If our customers speak a little bit fast, maybe we speed up our talk a little bit. We're going to match our customers. That's a big thing that I've always done is I've always matched my customers. If my customer walks a talks walks and talks a little slow, then I'm going to start to walk and talk a little slower so that my customer is able to understand, you know, what's going on. Hey, this RV right here, this might be a perfect one for you. Hey, let me ask you this. You know, where do you guys plan on going whenever you start to RV? And I'll slow it down for them. If someone's real quick and they come in and they're like, hey, Chris, I'm looking for an RV. We got to get out of here. You know, and when people are quick, they're maybe life's busy. They're just a busier personality type, right? Like they like they can't be sitting in an office forever. So with them, I mean, be like, hey, where are you guys going? What are you going to be doing? Where are you going to be going? I'm, I'm going to speed up for them and I'm going to match them a little bit, right? Because then that kind of person, if I am a little bit more pushy, if I am a little bit more straightforward, that kind of personality type likes that. They're going to be okay with that. Where a personality type that's like calm and collected and slow, they're not going to like me going quick and pushing, right? So I'm matching the energy of my customer. If they're quicker, I'm moving quicker. If they're slower, I'm moving slower. If they're in the middle and, and kind of just, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm matching my customer. I'm showing my customer I am exactly like you. I'm somebody that's easy to do business with. I'm just like you. And a matter of fact, they tell it by my mannerisms. My mannerisms show them the same thing. My words show them something different. But you have to understand body language, mannerisms, tonality, all of that speaks to your customer without words. So we have to understand these things. So matching my tonality, matching my body language. Like when a customer shakes my hand, I match their firmness. If a woman shakes my hand very soft and gentle, I don't squeeze her hand and like, oh, I'm a manly man. Look how hard I can squeeze you. Like, no, that's not what I do. I grab their hand soft, delicate, and gentle. Again, what does that portray? I'm just like you. I'm easy to do business with. I'm easy to work with. And if a guy shakes my hand and he shakes it nice and strong and firm and like really grabs my hand, I'm going to give him a nice, firm, strong handshake back. And I'm really going to, I'm going to grasp a little bit. I'm going to give him, you know, a nice solid handshake because those people, their personality type, they're looking for you to shake their hand back in a strong, strong fashion, right? Maybe they're a hardworking person and a, and a strong handshake, you know, means a lot to them. And there are people like that. And then other people that don't give you a strong handshake, they might think you're a complete asshole if you give them a strong handshake, right? So if you go in and someone gives you a delicate shake and you squeeze their hand, they're going to be like, dude, what is wrong with that salesman? 
right? But if you do the same firmness handshake, if a guy gives me a firm handshake, I give him one back, what are they going to say? Man, that guy had a nice strong handshake. But if I give him a handshake and he gives me a strong one and I give him like a delicate one, he's going to be like, man, that, I don't know. That guy's handshake wasn't very strong. He might not be too trusting. So we're, we should be matching our customers, right? Matching their energy, being excited to work with them, being inquisitive about their needs, their wants, their desires, their emotions, where they're going to be going, you know, what they're going to be doing with the RV, really learning their goals so that we can provide them with an RV that meets their needs. But we have to make sure our body language and our tonality lines up with our goals and they line up with adding value to our customer's life. Because if we give our customer the wrong body language, language, if we start using the wrong tonalities, if we start pressing customers when we shouldn't, if we're, um, you know, X, Y, and Z, then customers are going to, without them even knowing it, they're going to subliminally just not like you as a salesperson. And in turn, that could cause you to lose a deal because even if you showed them the right RV and they don't want to deal with you as a salesperson because of whatever reason, they're just going to go down the road to the next RV dealership, find an RV salesperson that they can work with, and then they're going to buy the RV from them, right? So while we're out there at our dealerships, let's make sure our body language, let's make sure our tonality is on par with our customers and let's show them that, you know, Hey, we're here to add value to your life. We're easy people to work with. We're just like you and we're experts in our field. You know, let us help you find the right RV. And that kind of needs to be the mindset um, when we're going into these transactions. If you're a dealership or business that could use more customer leads, right? Maybe our, our sales team's good at closing customers, but we could use some more leads. Well, give me a call here at IMR. That's what we help with. We help dealerships and business double the amount of customer leads that they get within the first few months they add our program. So if you could use more customer leads at your dealership or business, give me a call directly, 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. Um, if you're an individual salesperson and you wanna get better at the deal, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go grab the book, Sell More, Live More Sales Training. Get it on Amazon, get it on Barnes & Noble. The link is in the description, so go grab that book. Um, you can also sign up for our individual sales training program. You can get that at sellmorelivemore.net. 40 plus videos of audio and video that'll walk you A to Z through the RV sales training process specifically. So if you're an RV salesperson, this program is worth its weight in gold. It's only around nine bucks a month or a hundred bucks for the whole program. Not sure why we have it so cheap, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, take advantage of that while you can while that pricing is crazy to be honest you know you do take the program buy it for 100 bucks take the program run through it for once you sell your first rv the program paid itself off and the knowledge you're going to get from it i promise you is going to be worth every bit and 10 times more than the money that you spend on it so if you're an individual salesperson that needs to get better at the deal go grab the book sell more live more sales training you can get it on amazon you can get it on barnes and noble or go to sellmorelivemore.net and sign up for that RV sales training program. But you know, while we're out there at our dealerships, let's make sure our body language, let's make sure our, ton our tonality is in check. You know, we're going to be talking about RV sales and the sales process in general throughout the year. Um, so if you haven't, you know, liked our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel yet, definitely do that. Hop over to Facebook, hop over to YouTube, type in Infinite Media Resources, give us a like and a subscription. That way you can be here for the different, you know, sales and marketing content that we put out throughout the years. I'm um, Brian Uselton. Hopefully I said that right. Let's see. Love your videos, my man. Please keep them coming. You bet they're going to be coming all year long, Brian. If you haven't given me a subscription yet on YouTube, I see you're watching from YouTube. Um, please hit that subscribe button. Top, hop over to Infinite Media Resources. Please subscribe to that channel. Um, that way we can, you know, keep them videos coming for you and you can keep on watching them. Uh, if you're in RV sales or you're, if you're in sales in general and you want to do a live role play on here with me, uh, give me a call, Brian. Let's get it set up. And, and I'd love to have you on the show. So appreciate your feedback. Appreciate the comment. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing RV sales and sales videos in general all year long. So 
uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're a dealership or business that you, that could use some more customer leads, right? And let's be honest, what dealership or business couldn't use more customer leads? Give me a call directly. Five, 10 minute phone call um, could bring double the amount of leads into your dealership or business. And it's, you know, on par with what we do with a lot of the people that we add our programs into. So um, not far off from reality. If double the leads could help your dealership or business grow, don't hesitate to call me because we got a great program for you. 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. So I want to thank everybody that's been here. Um, you know, listening to us about body language and tonality and RV sales. Again, we're going to be here all year. So I'll see you on the next one.